Hi everybody. Um, sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. Yesterday was a really rough day for me. A really rough day. Um, today, yesterday I did day three of shots. Um, and today is day four of shots. Yesterday I saw the doctor and the doctor told me that the way that I'm feeling means that the stem cells are being harvested from your bone marrow. So every the way that I'm feeling is positive. It means that it's working. Even though um, it doesn't feel so positive to me, it means that it's working. Um, I have shots uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So in total, it will be eight days. And on Thursday, I'll get the catheter inserted into this area here um, to prepare for the stem cell harvest. So um, somebody asked me something, and I thought that I was explaining it properly. So I'm just going to explain it really fast. So the whole point of the stem cell transplant is to halt the progression of the disease, to stop MS in its tracks. And the way that it does that is because your stem cells are harvested. So your stem cells are in your bone marrow and the shots that I'm taking are making the stem cells be put into my blood, um, flow into my blood. Now they'll take the stem cells out via blood on Thursday of next week no excuse me friday of next week friday of next week that will happen and um so the whole idea is that the the first two doses of chemo lowers your immune system greatly and it lowers it enough so these shots can now start to harvest your stem cells because if your immune system is not lowered, your body is going to try to attack whatever's going on, which is the whole idea of MS, your body attacking itself, your body thinking that your myelin sheath around your um, spinal cord is foreign and it's fighting it, which is why you have lesions, which are holes in your brain and spinal cord, which causes a disability and the cognitive issues because your body is fighting itself. So um, the first two days of chemo was to lower. The eight days of shots is to mobilize the stem cells from your bone marrow. Um, I, I was explained, Dr. Juan Carlos explained to me that before they used to take a needle and go into your bone marrow and try to extract it, which was extremely painful and sometimes didn't work. So this way is better. So you do the eight shots. Now, then you go have the um, catheter implanted it, you have the stem cells harvested through the catheter. It's cleaner, it's safer. You need a couple of million, hundred million or whatever, but it should be enough because your body is promoting it itself. The only issue is during this time that I'm getting this shot, my body is recognizing something's going on and my immune system is not totally wiped out, it's just suppressed. So the MS symptoms are flared up, my body is trying to fight it because my immune system is trying to kick in to protect me, which is a good thing. A healthy immune system should protect you, but in this case, it's like, I don't know, it's like a mosh pit going on in there and it's causing everything to go haywire. So the odd thing to me is on today, not on today, excuse me, today I feel fine. Like, I don't feel bad. I ate today. I ate food today. Um, rice, beans, tortillas for the first, like, last Tuesday. And I don't feel sick. But yesterday, I couldn't even eat Jello. So it's, it's, every day, it's something different. Every day, it's something different. But I, I am grateful for the fact that I feel so bad because that's indicative of it working. Um, so after you get your stem cells harvested, that means that they take the stem cells out of your blood through the catheter. You then get two additional days of a higher dose chemo. Now that kills your immune system totally, because remember, you just took it out with the um, stem cells, the white blood cells. So you're going to put it back in after the two days of the um, stem, after the two days, excuse me, of the additional chemo, you get your stem cells back in. So now you're like a newborn baby. You have, they call it day zero. They call it your stem birthday. So they say that this is the day you're, you're born again. Um, you have this brand new immune system building itself from the bottom up. The white blood cells are forming inside there trying to figure out what's going on. Like everything is, is 
mobilizing to make you well. The objective is for MS not to be in there. Now, granted, you're taking your own stem cells from yourself and putting them back in. So there is a possibility that there's some like reminiscent stem cells um, MS stem cells or something, but the hope is that the new ones that are forming are so strong and healthy that they overtake the ones that are bad. I hope that better explains it for you. Um, I hope, email me if it did, and I'll email you because I don't know, um, I don't, if you have additional questions because I, I'm trying to explain it to you the best way that I can for you to understand. Now, the reason that it has been shown to reverse disability is because you have this brand new stem um, immune system. So where the holes were, the lesions, before that messages couldn't get to your brain, like to say, when you pick up a fork, there's a message that goes from up your spinal cord to your brain that says, hold the fork. Well, when you have lesions in your spine because you have MS, there's a hole. So the message then has to reroute itself. And sometimes the message doesn't get to your brain and sometimes you can't hold the fork. Sometimes you can. So with this new immune system, it'll fix all of that. That's the hope, it happens. It's, it's known to halt the disease. And if it reverses this ability, which I personally believe it will, um, that's just my belief that this thing is going to work. That's like a cherry on top of a sundae. So just want to explain that a little better. Now this video is a little bit longer. Hope I didn't talk too fast. Just want to get it all out. Um, I don't feel bad today. I honestly don't feel bad today. Uh... So um, today I saw the masseuse. So remember they gave us massages and today was the day I decided to go because it was the halfway point with my shots and a deep tissue massage will help release um, the lactic acid in your body. I think that's what you call it, Nate. Is that what you call it? Uh, and help to formulate stem cells, free range stem cells. So um, today was the day I decided to do it. It was okay. Um, I'm going to actually take a nap. I have another shot at seven and um, getting geared up for the week, just getting prepared. Hopefully I don't feel so bad later. But like I said, it's like a roller coaster. Every day is different. And um, it's my understanding that the results, the effects of chemo last for six to eight months. So at any time, chemo could decide to um, make you feel bad. The only complaint that I have today, honestly, is that I'm really exhausted. I just feel like I've been running a marathon and I really haven't done much of anything. So all movement is harder, but I did sit in a wheelchair and I did do leg lifts because I couldn't go up to the gym today. I just didn't feel up to it. So I did leg lifts, but a body in motion stays in motion. So I try to move as much as possible. <sighs> that was a lot. The altitude still takes my breath away a little bit, but so we're, we're en route and I've been here exactly one week today. I came here last Sunday. So let's see, let's see what happens. I'll try to keep you guys updated better and we'll talk tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Bye.